In this video, we will discuss the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. And before getting into the, all the complex stuff, let's have an overview of this system. So whenever your blood pressure falls, known as hypotension, the kidneys are able to sense it and they activate the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which acts on kidney as well as the blood vessels to restore the blood pressure to the normal. Most of you know the kidneys are supplied by a set of renal arteries, which supply almost 20 to 25 percent of whole cardiac output to kidneys. This blood reaches the glomeruli through the afferent arterioles and leaves the glomeruli through the efferent arterioles. These cells you see are the juxta glomerular cells. The word juxta means near, hence these cells are located near the glomerulus. These cells secrete a substance known as prorenin and hypotension is a main stimulator of converting prorenin into renin. Renin is an enzyme which acts on angiotensinogen. The word angio means vessels. The word tensinogen means a substance which constricts the vessels. It is a plasma protein which is synthesized in the liver. Renin converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. The next step takes place in the lungs when the enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme acts on angiotensin 1 and converts it into angiotensin 2. The angiotensin 2 is a powerful vasoconstrictor which mediates the effects of renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Let's look at the effects of angiotensin 2 on blood vessels. As I said, angiotensin 2 is a very potent vasoconstrictor. It constricts both the arteries as well as the veins. The constriction of the arteries leads to a total peripheral resistance increase and the constriction of veins lead to increase in the venous return to the heart. Both these mechanisms increase the blood pressure of the person. This effect is rapid and takes a few minutes. Now let's look at the effects of angiotensin 2 on the kidneys. These effects are slow and take a few days to have their maximum effect. Angiotensin 2 acts on kidney in two ways. The first is the direct mechanism. As most of you know, the GFR of the kidney is directly proportional to the blood flow through the kidneys. The blood enters the glomeruli through the afferent arterioles. And angiotensin 2 being a powerful vasoconstrictor constricts these afferent arterioles mainly and decreases the blood flow through the kidneys. This results in a decrease in the GFR of the kidney, which results in a decrease in the urine output through the kidney. Now, second is the indirect effect, in which the angiotensin 2 acts on the adrenal gland and releases aldosterone. Aldosterone in turn acts on the kidney and increases the sodium reabsorption as well as the water reabsorption. So we have a decreased urine output, increase in the water reabsorption and increase in the sodium reabsorption. All these effects lead to an increase in the extracellular fluid of the body, an increase in the capillary pressure and a long term increase in the arterial pressure. So to summarize, let's suppose a person gets stabbed and he loses a lot of blood. This will lead to a decrease in the blood pressure of the person known as hypotension, which is a potent trigger of activation of renin angiotensin aldosterone system. The RAAS further acts on the blood vessels as well as the kidneys and normalizes the blood pressure. So this was all about the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos. And make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.